said there is something wrong, actually wrong, about say, about pretending that things are are not as they are. They lead to terrible real world consequences, and there's examples that have vindicated her on this. But most interesting is the fact that this overreach by the Scottish government, the Scottish executive, um, uh, is really uh, something to behold. They, the Scottish executive, believe that they have the right not just to police what J.K. Rowling or you or I say in public, but also what we say in private, and indeed around the family dinner. Table. Uh, it, the legislation encourages children to inform on their parents. Um, this mm. is something that we saw in the Soviet Union, of course. It's been consistent in totalitarian systems across many, many years, but not in liberal democracies, not in countries that pride themselves on their liberalism and their democratic values. Hamza Yusuf and his uh, administration in Edinburgh should be absolutely not just shamed, but thrown out of office for what they're trying to do. And I'm just thrilled that Scotland's most famous author is leading the way in calling them out. And she's making a mockery of these laws very quickly because they won't charge someone with the resources to defend herself, uh, right. someone who's got you know, a million dollars, a billion dollars in the bank and, and a profile, but... The average mum in the suburbs who, who doesn't have that backing, um, they may go after. So thank God she's keeping an eye on any charges that may proceed. Uh, now let's go to the BBC and Michael Schellenberger reports that the head of the public broadcaster has vowed to pursue the truth with no agenda by reporting fearlessly and fairly. But as Schellenberger points out, that is simply untrue when it comes to so-called gender-affirming care, where inconvenient facts have been consistently suppressed. Uh, he makes an excellent point there because it's not just how they report things, but what they choose to ignore. And, yeah. and there has been so much that has come out in that area where the BBC has just ignored inconvenient facts. 